Hi, this is JP Morgan and Lars Lindstrom. Yeah. And for Trends of the Trenches today, we're at Sammy's, and I get asked the question all the time, what can I get for $1,000? Yeah, all I'm starting the time. my studio, you know, for 5, 000. 000 or like $2,500 or $5,000. Just like the three that I hear about. Three points. Yeah. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna quickly show you what you can do, the equipment you're going to need to start your studio with $1,000. Then we're gonna show you the equipment you need to do to start your studio for uh, $2,500 and then $5,000. So I'm gonna do stills, Lars is gonna do video, and we're just gonna run around the store and pick up the stuff that we think will work uh, in those categories. All right, ready? Ready, let's go, $1,000. Right, let's do it. And we're going. Okay, here we go. So here we are. How'd you do? I did great. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks. Yeah. It was kind of hard. It was hard. It was, it was really hard to hard. stay at a thousand bucks. It really was. So it looks like we both ended up rebels. in the rebel world. Canon rebels. You got the mini rebel. I got the mini rebel. The SL1. <laughs> okay. I have a, there's a reason for it. Okay. Well, let me. Yeah. Should we go through one at a time? Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Still photography. Rebel. It's a Rebel T5i, which can do video, which is nice. I got it with a kit lens. It's an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, but it's a variable aperture. So it's like a 355 five, three, five to 56. Yeah, 3556. Five, so there's my my camera. It gives me a lot of options. I have a card for my camera cuz it's pretty hard to uh, uh, get any images without a card. So I got a card, a 32 gig card by SanDisk that uh, so the camera was 750 with I, the lens. With the lens, I got a Photoflex reflector. It's a 5 in 1 that that puts me $100. And then I've got two Matthew stands here. I have stands. Oh, wow. No, one Matthew stand. One Matthew stand to hold up my reflector and an oversized A-clamp <laughs> to put my reflector on my stand so I can take portraits and make thousands of dollars. Oh, wonderful. Hey, perfect. Okay, great. Well, mine's a little bit different. I, I went with the uh, smaller Rebel for two reasons. One, it's got a touch screen on the back. You can t tap your focus, which is, which is really great for a lot of Canon lenses. Um, and it was $100 cheaper, and it's really hard to do everything you need to do with video for a thousand bucks. Really hard. Anyway, so I got dealing with uh, not just the visual, but audio as well. Exactly. Exactly. So I needed lights and sound and camera. So I got the Rebel S1, uh, SL1, and it's a small, cute little guy, but it's actually, it's, it's got great imagery, and uh, you can do video. I've got the tap focus. I did a 50 millimeter 1.8. This was my very first lens that I ever bought, and I got my money's worth, man. It's 125 bucks. So we got 599, so 600, 125. What's this at like 120 or 725? 725. I love this guy. You, what is this it? is a lavalier microphone that you plug into your cell phone, your iPhone or smartphone, and then you you download the Rode app, and it's 80 bucks, and it's super high quality audio, and you just like if you're interviewing someone, you put it on and you just put your phone in their pocket. And they can walk around, and there's no wireless, and they're not tethered to anything. It's it's so great, 80 bucks. So definitely, I would put that on there. And then, of course, a memory card for 40 bucks. So I went over. Oh no! And then uh, I I did a total light. So Lowell makes a total light. Oh, we don't have that here. Okay, I, so it's a total it's light hanging up. So total light. It's uh, the whole system: a stand, total light, reflector. It's about 200 bucks. So you got the stand and the reflector and the light in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For the for the thousand, I'm a, I'm a little bit over. How much over? Twenty five dollars. Oh, that's pretty good though. So thousand twenty five bucks. Taxes may vary depending on the state in which you purchase these items. That's true. If All right, well that's pretty good. Setup? So there's our thousand dollar studio setup. So now let's go to twenty five hundred dollars and see what we get. Let's do it. Okay. So right. twenty five hundred dollars. How'd you do? I did pretty good. So I stepped up my camera to seventy D. So you got a little bit more of a robust camera body. Uh, you still got that nice little focus tap on the back of the screen, touch screen. Uh, I think the seventy D is a flip out screen. It is. It as is well. flip out screen. Yeah. Um, so for video, that's great. You can get the low mode. You can flip it up. Or if you're up high on a tripod, you flip it down. Um, and I did a Sigma thirty millimeter one point four lens. Whoa. So you've got your crop sensor, and if you're if you have one lens that you need to walk around on. This is it because it opens up so wide, you know. So you've got a nice depth of field. Um, it's, it's not crazy out of control though, like a 50 would be, you know, because you're cropping yeah. it all the way. Um, I kept my smart lock because I think they're you so did? cool. I did, yeah. Okay. But I also stepped up my audio on, on camera a little bit. So this is the the Video Mic Pro. It's about $229. Um, so yeah, prices were $1,200 for the body, $500 for the lens. We know this one's $80. This one's $230. I uh, got my card still. 
I, I did throw in a variable ND filter in this package. I was this wondering is, if you were going to do that. Yeah, That's this a is really this is a 62 millimeter variable ND filter, same size as this lens. This is $120, and honestly, this is probably one of the better investments for video that you can make. Because your shutter stays at 50, that means you've got ISO to mess around with. And so if you're outside, but you want like a 2.8 aperture, then you're dead in the water unless you have one of these things. So yeah, love it. That's awesome. Um, uh, for my lighting, I decided to, we don't have them here, but um, I love, if I had one light to, to go to for budget, for 350 bucks, I'd get a Source 4 light. They're, they're big, they're bulky, and they're hot, but they're 750 watts, but you can focus them so this, this lens kind of unscrews and you can go soft or focused, um, and you can flag the light, so you've got these little flags on the sides that you can really say, you can go... You can put a pinpoint of light from 20 feet away. So if you can only have one light, you do a source I would, floor? because then you can open up the flags and you push it up to the ceiling well, you and you get this interview. beautiful, soft that's, light. Okay. Yep, that's that's your interview setup. Or just if you've got a wall over here, just put it on the wall and you've got, just, just blast the wall. You've got a 10-foot bounce. I mean, really, they're right. they're pretty versatile lights. I like them. You can control them. You don't even, you don't even need dimmers most of the time because you can just flag I'm them sorry, too yeah. bright. Love them. Anyway. So, Source 4, that's what I would choose. Very good. No stands? Uh, no stands. You're going to handhold that Source that's, 4? That's why I cheated. <laughs> yeah. You can, if you use the thing, you can prop them on the ground so they're pointing a certain direction. Yeah. Yeah, I cheated. Um, memory card stand. I put $20 for a stand. You're not going to buy a stand for a Source 4. No, not for the Source 4. <laughs> just wait. Just wait to the $5,000 package. This stand is $60. <laughs> it's probably too much. I know. So, anyway. So, uh yeah, that's that's my I'm 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 over already. I'm at twenty five forty right now on this package. <laughs> it's hard. It is hard. So I went with the seventy D as well. Oh. I mean you're stepping up to a, a nicer camera. Mm -hmm. It has all the things you talked about. Pop out screen, touch focus. It's just a much better camera to step up to. It's gonna be a lot better. Greater better for video if you're gonna do any of that, but this is for stills. We jumped to the Tamron 17 to 50 millimeters 2.8, H, which matches the crop for this camera. So it's a 17 to 50, nice, 2.8. So that's a great lens to step up to if you want a variety of things. You're shooting portraits uh, to more of wide angle. So I think it's a great lens. Got our, our card. We still have held on to our clamp <laughs> and our 32 inch reflector from Photoflex. But we have also added a tripod by wow. Slick. This is the Slick. I got to make sure I get the number right here. The slick BH700 with a ball head. Now this is heavy, yeah. But it's, you know, it's a, a really heavy duty tripod. It's yeah. going to go up tall enough to be able to work at eye level. So I think I would I went with a heavier tripod versus a lighter version that was a little smaller, just because I want the height and the workability, and I think this accomplishes that. So I was happy with this tripod. I included two of these, even Ooh. though I have one sitting here. Two Matthew stands, one for my reflector and one for my Flex Flash 200 watt strobe. So I'm gonna step into strobes now in my $2,500 package. And with that, we have a Westcott parabolic umbrella. It's a shoot through umbrella. Oh, so man. I can either use this to, to bounce light and a very narrow bounce if you're you know bouncing light out of the umbrella or you can shoot through it to give you a broader, softer light. So. A seven foot umbrella? Seven foot umbrella. You got a seven foot umbrella in a $2,500 package? Yes. For the strobe, that's this thing, this thing is only like what is it? Uh, it was under a hundred dollars. No kidding. So I did go over a tiny bit. I think I'm over fifty bucks. Okay, hey, good for you. That's great. <laughs> I think it's a really good package. I feel like package. this is a whole. You can make you can make money with this package right yeah. now without any problem. You really could. So and doing portraits and those kinds of things. Oh my gosh, people! Let like, that seven foot umbrella alone. I mean, that's like that's such a, a beautiful look. It is. You push and you get a source that big. Big, big, beautiful source. You can use it, but it's parabolic. So if you turn it around, mm -hmm. it has a tighter, uh, kind of a tighter area of coverage. But you shoot through, it's going to be much broader, much softer. Love it. Hey, let's do the five thousand. So let's do package. what we get for five thousand dollars. Okay, ready, set, go. go. So we just got our five thousand dollar package. So for mine on the steel world, I started off with a Hasselblad. What? Can't? What is it? That's like a $40,000 system, <laughs> JP. Really? <laughs> I think Dang. you may have blown the budget a little bit. <laughs> okay, maybe not. <laughs> no Hasselblad. $5,000 off the camera. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, all right. What are you into? Here we go. So I start off with the uh, 7D Mark II. Great camera uh, for a lot of reasons. I mean, it, okay. it, that follow focus on this camera when we reviewed it was off the charts. And not the... I mean, it's a lot of video thing, but if you're shooting stills and people are running towards you, we're picking up those stills we're picking up well, in that I mean, autofocus. This camera shoots 10 frames a second. Stills, bursts. Yep. 
So I mean, and, and, and as it's doing that, it's focusing as well. Yep. So that's, that's the power of this camera, which we didn't, I mean, when we first heard about it, we were going, it's kind of let down, but then we played with it and it's yeah, it awesome. It definitely worked. Yeah. But I did go, and on this, the 24 to 70, this is the uh, SP lens though, which means that this is the full frame sensor lens. Okay. So we're gonna have a crop lens issue. Uh, lens -ish. So it's more like a 35 to 100, All right. or 105, which is not a bad thing, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So 35 to like 105, which is not a bad range for doing stills and that's portraits. Perfect. It's a great yeah. range and a, and a great on this camera. And a great lens, it's a good price. Great lens. 1200 bucks? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so then I stepped up to, I went with Photoflexes, they have a kit, and in this Photoflex kit, you get three Flex Flash heads. You get two 400 watt heads, one 200 watt head, you get a softbox, a snoot, an umbrella, and three stands. How much? It's $1,200. Oh my gosh. $1,199. So there's a complete strobe lighting kit, all three strobes, three strobe heads, three strobe heads, three stands, the works, softbox is the works. So that I thought was a great to go with this. And then of course I finished it off with a, Tripod here. This is I stepped up to a Monfrotto tripod. This is the uh, 190X tripod with a ball head on it, and I think the ball head is the 804RC2. Okay. There we go. So now we got a great tripod. We still have our memory card. We got a complete set of strobes, and I also threw in because I'm probably way over budget anyway, a 42-inch reflector, five-in-one reflector. So I feel like I've got I've got the whole world That's here awesome, going man. for me. That's great. I'm in love. Video's hard. Video's Video really hard. is really for, hard because of lights. When you start to get into the lighting world and the sound world, it's just like oh gosh, then it's just like double the cost of your camera system. But I decided to go for my five thousand dollar budget with the coveted Sony A7S. It's actually this this is uh, There's something wrong with your A7S, Lars. No, no, no. This is this is everything right uh, about the <laughs> A7S. This is a great uh, story. We it just came back from a shoot in Hawaii, and apparently the guy had it on a tripod and got too close to a volcano, and it tipped over and uh, fell into lava, and he was able to pull it out on the- with His A7S the, his, falls into the lava yes. flow. but the great news is they they have offer a warranty here at Sammy's for, for different types of pieces of gear, and uh, so he, he, he the got warranty? the warranty, which I don't know how much the warranty is on something like this. A couple hundred dollars. A couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Got the warranty, came in with this camera, and they said, well, yeah, you get a new one. So he got a new one. I thought so it was even a great if you story. do something boneheaded like uh, <laughs> like it falls I into lava. my camera into lava, <laughs> I would like a new one, please. <laughs> That's my favorite story. That's so How can you great. be better than that? Anyway, so so what I'm trying to say is they didn't have any in the box, so I grabbed this one instead. Which that one I, has a much better story. <laughs> I, I agree. So A7S. I mean, we've talked about them a million times. I love the cameras. They're awesome for video and for stills, but for video, they're awesome. And I got the uh, Sony 24 to 70. They're not awesome for stills, by the way. <laughs> they're great. They're good. But uh, but yeah, you, you might need some a little bit more megapixels. 24 to 70 lens. It's nice. Uh, so we're at 3,700 dollars with the camera and the lens. Boy, you got so, you're out of the box. Man, you're in trouble. I, I blew my budget right away. Yes, you did. But here's the great news. You don't ever need another light ever again <laughs> with this camera. <laughs> That's not if true. If you have a phone, you're, in, you're good. I had two lights, so I kept my Source 4 because it's my favorite light, super versatile, we all know why. Uh, but I also added a $50 China Bowl. All right. That is a really smart, that's a smart thought. Yeah, it's like 50 bucks for, for a china bulb and a bulb, and it's just like, it's just a good look, just man. Just use any bulb. I mean, well, yeah. you can get bulbs from just 100-watt bulbs, or you can put a 500-watt bulb exactly. in those things. I mean, if you want to if you want to burn a hole through a china bulb, <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay, maybe you can't put this a 500-watt bulb. Like a 100-watt china bulb. I, I just did a music video, and it was like pretty much the entire music video all I had was, we shot on the Alexa, so it was a kind of a high budget, but we just used the china bulb and the uh, Source 4 750-watt couple 250 that was all tungsten it was super great but th those are my setups right there um ntg1 these are 250 dollars uh you're starting to step up into a, a higher quality yeah. audio product here um it's a shotgun mic yeah so these are great for interviews if you want to set these up on a stand i'm cheating because i'm not like including the cost of like stands and stuff you know? oh yeah I'm just... you're gonna be holding all those things a yeah, source yeah. four in one hand <laughs> and you're so to to plug this in i've got uh this task cam the dr60d uh mark ii um, these are $200, and they are amazing pieces of gear. You've got two XLR inputs, um, and you've, you've got really important control. Like you can, one of my favorite features on this piece of gear is that you can record two audio tracks for every audio source, meaning you can record one at zero decibels and then a backup of that same one at negative 12 decibels. So if you're, right. if you're speaking at this level and everything sounds great, and then you start laughing and screaming, it's gonna record a backup safety track. Anyway, so this is a great piece of gear. 
and it goes on. So you on. would just put on your tripod. Yeah, so I got a tripod in the kit. By the way, I'm Which like. Which one did you get? The, it's a Benro, um, the S6, something like that? Yeah, S6. I love Benro products. I mean, they really, they're, they're just, they're affordable, but high quality fluid head tripods. Mm -hmm. So for video, it's great. But yeah, so this just goes here, and then the camera goes right on top of that. And it's just kind of like an extension. Nice, dude. And, uh, but yeah, so we kept, um, we kept the uh, Tiffin ND. variable ND filter, especially for this camera, and our memory card. And we came in about $140 over budget. I threw a C-stand in the order, too, but I didn't grab a C-stand. Oh, C -stand. nice. Yeah. Did you really get a C-stand in there? I did get a C-stand in there, yeah. Okay. So, but that's, that's, about, uh, that's about what I do for video. It's hard because, I mean, we're talking lighting and sound. Lighting and sound. And fluid yeah. heads and stuff. But that's, I, think, I think we got a pretty good setup. Excellent. So there you have it. We have a $1,000 kit, a $2,500 kit, and a $5,000 kit, both in stills and video. So there's some great information, at least give you a good starting point on what you can do to put your studio together. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking. Thank you.